Hello and welcome. Today we will be discussing inflation, what it is and how it affects investments. Inflation refers to increases in the general level of prices for goods and services over time, which have the effect of reducing consumer purchasing power. In order to illustrate the concept of inflation and how it affects purchasing power, consider the example of Mitchell. Last year Mitchell went to the grocery store every week and purchased the same items. He had it worked out so that his grocery bill was exactly $100 each time he went shopping. This year he resumes his normal shopping routine, purchasing the same items from the grocery store. However, when he gets to the checkout counter, Mitchell is informed by the cashier that the items he has purchased now cost $110, rather than the $100 that he is anticipating. As a result, he is forced to put back several items. From this example, it can be seen that while Mitchell himself does not have less money, he is, in relative terms, poorer than he was last year. What he once could purchase for $100 can now only be bought for $110. Basically, his purchasing power has declined as a result of general increases in the price of goods in this case, groceries. In this example, Mitchell's purchasing power has decreased by 10%, indicating an inflation rate of 10%. But why have prices increased? While the causes of inflation are complex and multidimensional, inflation is usually associated with a country printing more money than it has assets. Consider the case of the fictional country of Burma, which prints $200 billion in currency despite only having assets in the amount of 100 billion. When a country prints more money than it's worth, its currency is devalued. And in turn, merchants raise prices to account for this devaluation. This increase in prices decreases purchasing power. So we now have a basic understanding of what inflation is. But how is it measured? The inflation rate is generally expressed as the annual percentage increase in the price of the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The CPI measures changes in the price level of a market basket of consumer goods and services against a particular starting year or base year, currently 2002. Basically, it tracks the price of a collection of products such as gasoline, food, clothing, automobiles, and so forth that typical consumers buy in order to determine whether consumer purchasing power has increased or decreased. Inflation is not always entirely undesirable, but unexpected inflation can have several significant consequences. First, in the case of loans and debt financing, creditors lose and borrowers gain from unanticipated inflation. In fact, in some instances inflation can effectively result in an interest-free loan for the indebted party. Second, Unanticipated inflation and the uncertainty that surrounds it can make consumers and corporations less likely to spend, leading to a self-fulfilling prophecy of economic stagnation. Third, wherever the inflation rate rises above that of other neighboring countries, domestic products can become less attractive. But fixed income investors are undoubtedly the group most affected by inflation. In order to illustrate this, consider the example of George. George has invested $1,000 in a one-year U.S. Treasury bill with a 10% yield. Once the bill has reached maturity, George collects his $1,100. However, in the time since he bought the T-bill, the inflation rate has climbed from 0% to 7%. So George's 10% nominal return effectively amounts to a real return of only 3%. We will discuss interest rates in more extensive detail in a future video, but until then, Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or visit our website.